okay so again very good morning to all we were talking about uh, resistance we were talking about current we was we were talking about batteries we were talking about potential difference whenever any potential difference across uh, applied across the uh, any conductor any resistor current will flow okay let us consider this is a conductor of length l this is conductor of length l and we are applying a potential v we are applying a potential v so this conductor behave like a resistor okay because uh, it will oppose definitely what is meaning of resistance it has some property it is called resistance it has some property which oppose the flow of current which oppose the flow of current whenever we apply battery it is the ohms law we apply battery the potential difference and current current i will flow from the conductor okay so this current i is directly proportional to proportional to v so v is equal to ir this is the ohms law we very well know about it this is the ohms law ohms law is state that the current flow in any conductor is directly proportional to the potential difference applied across it so v is equal to ir at at any uh, constant temperature and constant dimension for constant dimension when all physical other physical parameters remain constant then potential is equal to ir for any conductor so these conductor can be represented by resistor like that r this is a resistor okay this is a this can be represented by resistor r because conductor has some property it is called resistance okay so it is called resistor and we if we if we apply a v volt plus v volt across it then v is equal to ir so some points we have to remember in flow of current first point is that if current is entering at let us consider at this terminal current is entering so this terminal will become positively charged this point already we have covered again we have to we have to take a, a brief summary about that concept this concept if i current is entering if i current is entered in this terminal then this terminal of resistance be become positively charged and if current is leaving the terminal from that current is leaving that that will become negatively charged then potential difference across this resistance is equal to ir okay this concept you have to understand next second concept is that second concept is that current always flow from positive terminal of battery to the negative terminal of battery okay current always flow from positive terminal to negative terminal of battery whenever any resistance applied across it okay so in this case actually battery delivering some power okay means what is this what is this case this case is means battery deliver some electric power okay in other case when so this is the case everybody have to understand very clearly if current is leaving from positive terminal of battery and entering to the negative terminal of battery it is called discharging of battery okay in this case some power is delivered by the battery okay case number 2 this is case number 1 case number 2 if current is entering at positive terminal and leaving from negative terminal if current is entering to the positive terminal and leaving from negative terminal of battery this larger this larger 
line is representing the positive terminal and a smaller line is representing the negative terminal okay whenever you want to represent any battery we have to draw two vertical line one is larger as compared to other so larger terminal is indicating the positive terminal and smaller terminal a smaller line is indicating the negative terminal okay so if current is entering to the positive terminal and leaving from the negative terminal terminal it is the charging of battery okay it is charging of battery okay in this case power will not delivered by the battery power will absorb by the battery okay this is called charging of battery whenever we want to charge battery we have to enter current into them so from positive terminal current will enter and negative terminal current will leaving okay so in case of charging case will be totally different okay so these concept two concept you have to remember this is small in small concept everybody have to understand very clearly what when first concept is that if you want to represent any battery or any cell we use two vertical line okay two lines the larger line is larger and smaller so the line having length larger is represent positive terminal and a smaller line is representing the negative terminal first concept is that second concept is if current is leaving from positive terminal and entering to the negative terminal okay current is entering to the negative terminal this is called discharging of battery this is concept of discharging discharging of battery in this case battery will discharge okay and opposite case for opposite case case number 2 when current enter when current enter into the positive terminal and leave from the negative terminal it is charging of battery in this case energy delivered by the battery in this case energy absorbed by the battery okay so these two case we have to remember always now <coughs> r what is what about r r is the property of that conductor due to which it opposes the flow of current so whenever it opposes a voltage a voltage difference automatically develop across the resistance which is equal to the applied voltage okay and which is equal to v is equal to ir so all this concept please write down please write it down any confusion if anybody has any confusion can ask for uh, ask any doubt you have to raise your hand then i will give you permission then you ask me don't unmute yourself muskan don't unmute yourself okay so is it clear for everybody now we was talking about combination of resistance okay combination sir please of resistance who is saying this side please okay now combination of resistance what is meaning of combination of resistance resistance can be connect in two ways first is series combination series combination and second is parallel combination series combination and parallel combination we can connect two or do more than two register in series or in parallel so first we have already have knowledge about series combination 
what is meaning of series combination when two resistance r1 and r2 are connected in series with a battery okay when r1 r2 connected in series with a battery then current current starts let us consider this is a key it is a switch and switch is closed now so after closing the switch switch is closed okay close the switch so when we close switch current will start i current is start flowing to so in series combination one point we have to remember always is that what current in both current in both resistance is equal okay so current is equal in both resistors dono resistor mein current kya hoga equal flow hoga okay so let us consider if i current flowing to the r1 that potential drop across it is called potential drop okay automatically when current flow to the resistance when i current flow to the resistance let us consider v1 potential develop potential difference develop it is called potential drop it is called potential drop v1 potential difference develop across r1 we can say it potential drop it is we are considering that it is equal to v1 same as it is potential drop across r2 is v2 okay and these both of combination of both resistance can be replaced by single resistor can be replaced by single resistor okay and it is called equivalent resistance it is called equivalent resistor what is meaning of reg equivalent resistance when all resistance combination of all resistance are replaced by single resistance that will that will able to deliver same amount of that will able to deliver same amount of current as the combination of battery so in case of combination let us consider i current is flowing so same for the equivalent i current will will uh, should leave from the battery or i current will in parallel combination what is value of equivalent resistance it is equal to r1 plus r2 okay we already have derived it in value of equivalent resistance r1 and r2 and what is current current i is equal to v by r equivalent v by r equivalent which is equal to v divided by r1 plus r2 in this case okay and if we talk about v1 it is equal to i into r1 so v1 we can put value of we can sir thodu video issue aave che sir yes video issue aave che sir 